Hello everyone, it's me, Coffee Stitcher. Um, it is Monday. Um, as promised, I'm here with my video for today. Um, it is late, it is after work for me. Um, subsequently I'm drinking soda, not coffee. Mm. Um, so I imagine most of you will probably end up watching this on Tuesday. Um, I do definitely appreciate the, um, I, I, that, that this is sort of an abnormal one, but it is what it is. Um, I actually ended up largely unplugging yesterday, and that was really, really nice. So, but I'm back. So there's hell to pay. I put a spell on you. Wait, sorry. Wrong season, wrong wig, because this is my All right, so uh, we're gonna dive on in. We do have some Q and A once the page fully loads. Um, I've got a small little bit of surprise haul, um, which is always nice. I've got uh, whip updates, a mini finish, um, and we've got next week's plans. Yes. Uh, so, as soon as this finishes, like, well, well, we'll do this all out of order. We're just gonna do everything weird tonight. Um, let's see, where, oop, I'm gonna say one. Where did it go? Well, this may end up being normal then, because this page may finally flip and load before I find the other part of my surprise hole. Because I want to show it to you all at once. Where did it go? Oh, now this is just ridiculous. I know, I know it's here. Talk amongst yourselves. The chickpea is neither a pea nor a chick. Oh, hey, I was looking for that. Oh. Aha, found it. Okay. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's do this, do this. So, um, I got a very lovely little bit of surprise haul from Rebel Stitcher um, on FlossTube. She's Moon Pie Frey on Instagram. Um, and her Etsy store is Etsy Rebel Designs, and she makes needle minders. So, she sent me a the Hufflepuff crest, because as we all know, I am a Hufflepuff and a doxy and it came with a little cute message that says to a hufflepuff from a ravenclaw so thank you rebel stitcher that was a really lovely surprise uh to get middle of the week so yeah and they look they're really nice um nicely made so yes oh my gosh really youtube and of course i did not bring my tablet back here with me tonight so i can't okay here we go finally um, all right, so first off, to those that were curious, um, I can't promise Remy will appear terribly often, um, because he likes to stay pretty close to, um, G, but sometimes he makes it back here. Um, and for those who asked, he, we, he's a rescue. We think that he is a sporting Lucas Terrier, um, but we could be wrong. He's definitely a Terrier mix. Um, all right. So, diving into the rest of the Q&A. Um, Darlene LK uh, says, you have been recent, you've recently been talking about a fabric dyer that is a black couple. Can you please let me know the company as I can't find my note on them? They're actually an interracial couple, um, and it's Fortnite Fabrics. Um, uh, and it's Derek and Christian. They're also on Floss Tube as Married with Stitches, and they just did their bi-weekly video. So, there's a video for you to go watch. And they're fun and awesome, and yeah, go support them, because they make my felt face melt right on off. Like, seriously, I have to reapply face constantly. Um... Alright, next up, 
Um, Jenna Gorsuch asks, have you decided how you'll FFO your secret garden? And I actually think I'm going to try and do it the way uh, that Kristen did. Um, that's Stitching Book Club, Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts. Um, I really like her finish for it. So that's what I'm going to aim for. Uh, Ruth Ann Adams asks, where did I find the Titanic needle minder? That I believe came from Mad for Minders. It's a wood one and she's generally who I got those from when I was still, I go through phases where I'm like, oh my God, must buy all the needle minders everywhere. Just like that. Um, and then there are times where I'm like, no, I don't really need another needle minder. Um, I did not buy one for Frankenstein. I did buy a bookmark. There's still time. I may still end up with a needle minder, but I may not as well. We shall see. That's future Garrett's problem. Um, okay, so Rhonda Polk asks, what do you mean by homework? Um, in School of Magical Stitches, it's a Facebook group, we complete weekly homework tasks for points. Um, I'm actually not participating in the homework this week because um, neither of the two really fit my th what I have, and I didn't want to just put 750 stitches a piece on two separate projects. So instead, this week I'm going to work on some of the goals that I had set that I haven't quite reached yet. Um, and so the fairy tale princess or fairy tale favorites pattern was in cross stitcher magazine. Um, and I do apologize. I try to say that, but every once in a while I forget. Um, Sarah Contento asked about the Charlie Brown needle minder. And again, that was also a mad for minders because it was a wood one. That one I know for sure came from her. Um, Linda Klein Dinst asks a unrelated to stitching question, but she does want to know if it's mandatory for me to wear a mask while I am at work. Um, the answer is yes and no. Um, if we are staying at our desk and not getting up, uh, because I do answer the phone a lot, I don't have to keep my mask on. But if someone comes up to my desk or if I get up to go to the printer, go to the bathroom, etc etc then my mask goes on so basically if i'm not sitting in my chair facing my computer my mask is on um and it will be on for a while because that is one of the best ways to stop this pandemic so if you don't like wearing a mask tough shit stay home don't care what you want to do otherwise it's as simple as that because i promise you you will feel really terrible if you get it pass it on to someone and they die. But if you're okay living with that, go right ahead. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about that. And now we're waiting on more questions to load. Uh, feels weird to have done the haul first. I'm gonna take a pause. I like straws. I know they're really terrible for the environment. And at home, I use, well, actually at home, I have to drink out of a regular glass, which you've probably seen, um, because if it's not see-through, then I tend to leave a large amount of beverage still in the cup. But I like straws. And we have reusable straws that I use at home a lot. Why is this taking so long to load? Y'all probably don't care that I like straws. It's down to Michelle Bindi Stitchy, and she's usually one of the first people to comment. So it probably has hit the bottom. I think I kind of recorded late last Sunday too. I think I did it in between Oz interviews.
question here. We're gonna say that that's the last question, but we may be coming back if one pops up. Okay, so this week, um, I worked on two projects, basically. I worked on every season for the homework, because um, it fulfilled a whole bunch of things. And then I worked on it yesterday, and I worked on it today, and we got summer finished! Okay, this is Every Season Sal by a Tiny Modernist. Um, this was part three. Part one was the center phrase and the borders. Part two was spring, and now part three is summer. Um, and I just love these colors so flippin' much. Um, and this is on, I think, Portabella by Fabric Flare. But it's so pretty! I love it. So, uh, the next part comes out Saturday morning, which is July 1st. So, my goal for next month on it is going to be to get half of it finished. This is a nice, like, Saturday project, because it's... I don't want to say it's mindless, because there's, there is a significant amount of counting. But there's... And it's not really a big box of color, thankfully. But there's, there's strategy of, okay, well, I need to start with this color so that I can fill in this color. Uh, and I really enjoy that. And then I worked on fairy tale favorites. And I had Sleeping Beauty to do. So here it is as a whole. Um, it's, she's not photographing very well. Um, well, she's showing up here better than she did on Instagram. Um, I went a little darker than I'd originally intended to on her, excuse me, hiccups, on her skin tone. So it's a little difficult, not in person, to see her, the, the facial features. But they're definitely there. You can sort of see them. So, but there she is. Um, so next month will be to stitch Gretel. All right. So that brings me to the end of what I worked on for homework last week. Um, some of you may recall that I had pulled out Woodland Fairy. Woodland Fairy is officially in timeout because I have frogged the same damn part of her wing four different times. I'm done. No, no more. No more. Not right now. So she is going into the world of time out. Until I can decide that I'm no longer pissed off at her. Um, so I did go ahead, actually, and bring back my Weasley twins. So I worked on Saturday on some more on Fred. I worked on Fred's scarf. So the yellow part of his scarf is now done. Um, so my goal for the Weasley Twins for this month is going to be to finish up Fred. So, because there's a little bit left of the scarf on that page, and then we've got another page to go. Or page-ish to go. So, like I said, my goal is at least a full page finish, which may actually not finish out Fred, but I'm going to really try to finish him. Um, and that's by uh, Mandarinks Designs. And it's on Color and Cotton's Spellbook, I think. Hell yeah. Yes, Spellbook. Alright. So, that replaces, um... Well, we'll just say that one replaces, uh... Well, I'll go ahead and say it. I am retiring quilts and uh, strawberry fields because I didn't really work on, I haven't really worked on them in a couple of months. Um, I've put them in and I've ended up working on other things on homework. So for now, they're going to go back out of the rotation just to sort of change things up a little. Um, it doesn't mean that I don't still love them. Like I said in yesterday's, um, yesterday's Stitch Mania, the talk show, it's all about what sparks joy and what makes you happy. And right now, I'm not really feeling those. So they are going away for the time being. 
Um, doesn't mean I don't love them. Doesn't mean I don't want to, uh, that I want them gone forever. I'm just not in the mood to work on them currently. Um, and I think a little bit of it may be that I've had three finishes this month. So I'm sort of in a weird let's start things phase. And what's a good way to start things without actually starting them? Rotate your whips. Um, all right. So that brings us with what is left uh, for the for it. So this month I wanted to do um, things I still have left to do. So I wanted to do three more motifs on Atlantis. So I haven't, I've got one of them. I wanted to get at least three. So I'm gonna try and do two more motifs. Boop. So here's where I'm at. Let's see where I get to by Friday. Um, and then next week's video, I'll have my July goals for us all to peruse. Um, since Frosted Pumpkin is kind of a mid-month release, um, I'm not super worried as long as I get um, the next part done before. But if not, that's kind of okay. Um, so Chinese Zodiac, I did finish part three. I am going to, oops, that's not Chinese Zodiac. This is Chinese Zodiac. Um, I don't know how much exactly I'll get done. I'm gonna at least try to maybe finish out um, the red ring. So that, that part will be done. And then usually two, two weeks, do one part one week and then the fan the other week. And that usually gets that taken care of. So... That's the plan there, so... We'll see what I can get done this week on it. Um, Adventure Awaits is the one that I've got the biggest amount to do on of my definite ones. And that was, I wanted to get Europe done. So I'm probably about a third of the way through Europe. I don't think I'm going to make it, but I will see how much more I can get done on it. So I'll probably spend one night. So we've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday. So. Um, we've got, as well, I had wanted to try and get part two of Black Cat Hollow done. I think that was a highly unrealistic goal. <laughs> but that's okay, it was still a goal. So here's where I'm at on it. Next month I may try for a finish. We'll see how much I get done on it this month. So. I do need to change the black skin tone because it's too dark. You can't, can't really tell what you're looking at. Um, then I've also got, I'm bringing out, so, Weasley replaced uh, quilts. I'm bringing back Universal Monsters. So my goal is I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, the next room, because I think what part of it was was I burned myself out doing the, trying to do all of the top part. So I'm gonna come over and work on um, the next room. Um, or I may work on, actually, I'll probably work on the Frankenstein room. Um, that way I can do some fill in on this top part. Because it would be nice to get this one done. Because I still really love this one. And that's by Witchy Stitcher. And then I'm also going to be working on the Setsuma Street Alice. So now that Literary Alice is done, I can continue with another Alice design. So, and she's on the Q-snap because the border, I'm gonna try and do the border all um, 
because I think that's going to be easier on this piece. Loath as I am to say that. So probably Friday nights during virtual stitchers, y'all's going to see me working on border because that's an easy thing to do during during virtual. Um, yeah, so this week, like I said, we're going to work on Atlantis one day. We're going to work on Chinese Zodiac one day. We're going to work on Adventure Awaits one day. So it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then probably Alice on Friday. So... We also tend to watch movies on Friday, so that's a good time to do sort of fillery things. Um, so yeah, um, Frankenstein starts next month, so that'll be in the, the rotation too. So, but for now, we're just gonna keep on keeping on. So, anyhow, um, there will be some haul coming in this week that you'll get to see on Sunday. I'll be back at my same bat time, same bat channel. Uh, Everybody have a good week, and I'll see y'all next time.